Hey, welcome to week three of our Advent Devos at Home. I want to share with you as we start off today, uh, one of my ornaments that, when we hang ornaments on the tree, there are some personal ones that we kind of go, oh, this is yours, this is yours. And, you know, with Chelsea and I, we get to hang the personalized ones, especially on the tree. And this is my, one of my personal ones. If you can read that, that's Kingwood Mustangs, 2004-2005. I graduated from Kingwood High School in 2005. And so that, I don't, I don't remember why we got this, but it was a gift from the high school to us for our graduating class, which was pretty cool back then. And it hangs on my tree even now. And I grew up at this place, Kingwood, which is a really cool spot in the middle of the forest. But, you know, when people ask me, where are you from? I usually say Houston because people know Houston. If I am say, hey, I'm from Kingwood, some folks in Texas might know, but especially I remember when we moved to St. Louis and we were at seminary and the people at seminary from all over the place and they ask, where are you from? Usually I'd say Houston because people know Houston. And then, oh, well, what part if they ask that? Then I'd say, well, Kingwood. And if they didn't know Kingwood, I'd have to say, oh, it's a northeastern suburb, right? You know, people don't know Kingwood like they know Houston. And wouldn't it make sense as Jesus comes that he might show up to a place that most people know, right? Jerusalem. That's the capital. That's the place to be from. But he shows up to Bethlehem. Now, we all know the name Bethlehem because of the importance in the story. But Bethlehem at that time was just kind of a small town in Judea, in that area. So when Jesus shows up, it's unprecedented because he shows up in this small town where his family's from. Now, some famous people had come from there, right? King David is from Bethlehem. But still, it's unprecedented that God would send his son there. But listen to how the prophet Micah writes when he says, But you, O Bethlehem Ephrathah, you are too little among the clans of Judah. From you shall come forth for me, one who is to be the ruler of Israel, whose coming forth is from old, from ancient days. I like that Jesus is born in a small town. There's nothing against big cities. There's nothing wrong with it. But it shows God's deep love for us that he didn't need the fanfare. He didn't need to be from somewhere famous. The importance was that he came. And in fact, there's a lot of really fun history about this area of Bethlehem and, and how important it ends up becoming. And even to this day, there's a lot of Christians in Bethlehem. But we rejoice that God would come in such an unprecedented way. That he would come to the small town instead of the capital city. That he would show up to shepherds as well as wise men. That as we rejoice, it's like God shows up to the places we are, the places we live. And that's what's so unprecedented. It wasn't a temple like on a mountain like built to Zeus. It wasn't, you know, Afri you know, uh, Athena's temple in Athens. It wasn't any of those things. It wasn't even the Temple Mount where God dwelt in Jerusalem. It was a barn, maybe even a cave, in Bethlehem. And God loved us so much that he wouldn't be born into a royal palace, but instead he would be born in a lowly manger in the town of Bethlehem. Pause the video here in a second when the questions pop up. And if you're with your family, take, take a minute to answer those questions together. And if you're with friends, same thing. If, if you're alone, uh, pull out a sheet of paper or a journal. Write down your answers to the questions. And we'll close with a Christmas carol.
Amen. 